I'm Monica Nicholsberg with GeekWire here at the NASA booth with Maria Bullitt. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing and, and what you do with NASA? Um, I'm a robotics engineer at NASA Ames Research Center, and um, what we're showing here is a prototype robot that we've used to develop autonomy software um, and mission concepts, and we test it out in the desert, uh, various places. We've been to deserts here in the, the southwest, so Arizona, Nevada, uh, Southern California. Uh, this robot has actually also been to the Canadian Arctic, which is uh, basically a frozen desert um, where we've had to watch out for polar bears. Um, but uh, we develop uh, autonomy software for uh, things like navigation, visual navigation, um, also for sensor fusion, um, for uh, uh, planning and scheduling, uh, uh, autonomous task uh, completion, so it can, it can do its job on its own pretty much. But we also look at user interfaces, so how do you interface with an autonomous robot? Because um, let's face it, autonomy is not perfect, and so we uh, want to be able to have a human supervisor help the autonomous vehicle when it needs it. So the the supervisor needs to be able to come up to speed very quickly on the situation, uh, you know, what's around the robot, what's its current health, what, what's the state, um, help it out, and then send it back on its way to, to complete its mission. So say everything checks out with this little guy, the software works, what, where does it go after that? Uh, well, this robot is meant to stay on Earth. Um, it has rubber tires. It's, it's not really, it's not a space qualified robot. But the software uh, will hopefully go on to future missions. And we actually, some of the software is targeted for a future lunar mission that's targeted around 2020, 2021, somewhere around there, uh, to explore the lunar south poles. So um, both the onboard software and the user interface software are, are, are targeted at those missions. And is there anything else at your booth here that you that think we should know about? Anything cool you guys are doing or showing off? Oh, there's a lot of really interesting and, and fun stuff. We actually have an astronaut signing autographs on the other side, so you can go and get that. Um, but we also have folks uh, who work using HoloLens. Um, you can actually take a walk on Mars. Uh, they have real, it's curiosity data from the robot. So it's real data, nothing is made up there. You can actually walk around the robot and see exactly what the robot saw. Um, we also have a, a few um, augmented reality uh, things over here by the, the launch system. Uh, you can sit next to an astronaut on the Orion capsule and prepare for a launch. Uh, you can sit through countdown. Um, and then we have folks also who talk about the, the SLS, the Space Launch System, and the Orion capsule for our next lunar, uh, hu you know, human lunar or Mars mission.